I grew up in a small rural Ohio town, part of Steel Belt, uh, or Rust Belt as it is now, and was surrounded by a lot of oil and gas activity, but at that point in my life, I never thought I would be in any way involved in the oil and gas industry or in the position I am. I actually uh, started my education in botany and environmental science, and then moved into public policy and management, uh, and took a very bold leap and moved to Estonia, to Eastern Europe, when I finished grad school. It, looking back on it, it was one of the inflection points in my life that I think was probably the most beneficial. I spent a considerable amount of time in the Middle East, in the country of Jordan, developing uh, the environmental framework that went on to govern their oil shale industry. And that's actually what led me back here to Utah, back to the United States, uh, when that company purchased a very large property out in the Uinta Basin, a resource in oil shale, and I moved out here in 2012 to run that project. So one of the things that I'm most excited to do is to help change the narrative of the value that the industry provides here locally as well as more broadly to society. And that isn't something that comes easily. A lot of the members of the association and of the energy industry overall keep their heads down, they do their work, they're proud of the work they do, but they aren't necessarily prepared to broadcast that value add. So one of the proudest things that I've had is kind of changing hearts and minds of those people to really take ownership of what they're doing. We all need to be proud of the contribution that we're providing to keeping our society moving forward into the high quality of life that we all enjoy.